All right, Force fans, welcome back to another map review. This one we're doing four versus four Canyon Bridge by the General Tanya himself. This is an older map, um, but one of my favorites. A lot of new players try and cheese it by doing a core drop. You can see here, try and do a core drop way down below. <clears throat> it really doesn't work. I don't know what base I am. I lost my base. I thought I did more than that. So we're gonna try and do some cheese here. I think we're gonna go bud saws really quick and see if we can catch somebody off guard. We're not exactly in the best position to do this. Uh, prefer to be second or third base in this one. Now I know some of you guys are gonna be like, oh Synergy, you just built a three by three. It's actually structurally uh, strong in this map because you want to have a solid connection in here to prevent the map from uh, essentially splitting you. So this needs to be strong. If you put a, a brace in here or a, or a, a cut, then the map isn't, uh, isn't quite as strong. So uh, that's the only reason we're doing that. So please don't criticize me, you guys. So you can see here there's a lot more building than usual um, because you want to make sure your base is structurally sound before you start getting into jank and there's a guy who tries to do core swing core swings out or core drops on this map um, don't work very well you have to do a lot of work on them the, the map is designed to basically crumble if you try to drop the core so um, yeah doesn't work doesn't work. So we're gonna try and do buzz saws here and see if we can catch somebody with their pants down. Um, we're also going to drop in a tech center because we seem to have a lot of resources somehow. And we're gonna build what I call the Metroid ship on this map. And drop it right about there. And we'll drop this up like this. And there we go, Metroid ship. Bleep. So it looks like it looks like uh, Samus's ship. If you do this, now we're gonna save up for the buzz saws. We're gonna see if we can catch somebody with their pants down. This guy probably he's gonna drop his core and then we'll just buzz saw him. It'll be awesome. As soon as this is done, we're sitting at yeah three minutes. This should be done already. Google is just two. We'll go with just two. We're going to see... Put those in there, the anti-buzzsaw defense. <clears throat> and because we only have four mines, that's why we did the early upgrade center. Uh, it's just to get that, that slight advantage on um, a little bit of extra resources. Because there's so much building involved in this map. And that's how you do it. Guys try and cheese. <laughs> that's gotta be Quebec. Most likely. For those of you guys who don't know who Quebec is, he's a very, very, very good player. And yes, I just did quick click that uh, alt ability. He's got weapons already, so I'm basically dead. Super dead. He's just gonna hit the crap out of me now. And there's very little that I can do. So we'll try and go into uh, some cannons here, maybe. I don't know really what we're gonna transition into. I like to do mortars. This is a great mortars map. But I think we're gonna skip those this time around. Actually, you know what we'll do is we'll put some mortars in the back while we're chilling. Um, that's not a bad idea, actually. And then we'll build some stuff up here. And... Just 
start to get ready. You also want to make sure that your core is protected. Very important. And you add these braces in here for structural. You see how the base wants to cave into the middle? So you add things like that to keep the, um, to keep the bases um, upright correctly. Uh, hopefully we'll have enough resources here. <clears throat> um, so he already knows that, that the mortars are coming. That is Quebec gold. I am almost positive. So we've got the resources we need. We'll drop in another battery here, just because we're waiting. Let's see how close these are to hitting. Got him. some here. If we get a little bit of harass going. Actually what I needed to do is shotguns would have been would have been smarter here. But these are just for harass, temporary harass while we're uh, building the rest of the defenses. So I've got that already. That we should capitalize on the upgrade speed. I totally forgot about that. I was just looking at resources. <clears throat> Okay, so um, I need to go just a little bit further. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. So they're going try hard today. Okay. Quebec is very good though. He's a very, very good player. Make sure we can keep the firing up. So that's it for our resources. I'm gonna try and grab this guy in the front. So that worked out pretty good. It's a shame that he's tr going uh, crazy try hard though. There we go. I did end up dropping that one a little bit low. Let's get another battery in here. And get rid of this and drop one of these in here. Get the storages up. We're definitely going to need some... Uh, I need to be getting another cannon here.
got that there. So we'll put in that. So I'm not too concerned about doing anything with this here. To be blatantly honest, not at the moment anyway. Uh, we'll fire a little bit lower. There we go, hit those doors. That's what I want to do. And fire these. So we've got all the gunners that we need, I think. Should protect us relatively well. Is it gonna break? Sorry, as you can see, we're running into an energy problem. second now. My big question is, is it because of these? That's creating my wind issue. It's gonna be this gunner right here. So we're gonna do a quick speed upgrade and hopefully that should solve our energy problems. That's where I want it. So it's because it's supporting the weight of all the cannons as well. Which is where that's coming from. We're gonna hide some more batteries here. So like I've always said, you wanna make sure that you spend all of your resources. we get as many gunners down as possible. We're going to remove that because it's just going to blow up and create havoc. Okay, so he is going to be dropping a lot of those, so we'll just put one of these here to help keep those guns alive. So repair station's great for putting out fires. <clears throat> It'd be really nice to see. Yeah, we did kind of get shafted there. I mean, we do have like double triple bracing. We're gonna put more doors on the front. So one of the reasons it's having sometimes floating is okay because I had the resources there to pay for everything. Brutally. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> so. Concentrating here. So flat cannons now take two shots. Is that how that works? No, one shot. See how much uh, action, how many actions it takes though? To use a sniper. Man, I shot all those, holy crap. down one's down so as you can see this map is uh, it's pretty jank I really really enjoy it really enjoy it See that sniper shot just missed? Got him. Got it there. Got another one. Should be right. There. Got it. Okay. And drop it in. Those twenties. I don't know what to think of those twenties, to be honest. Back row twenties, usually not recommended. But these Howies are putting in some serious work. We might actually pull this one off. We might actually pull this one off. Core. Core shots are my favorite. Look at that. I beat Quebec Gold. Keswick's really, really good. Really good players. Got him. That's it. Guys, holy crap. GG! Woo! That was a great game. Holy man. What a victory. Well. That's, uh, that actually turns out to be a 20 minute video. That's almost perfect, guys. So this is a, a fantastic map done by the general. This is four versus four Canyon Bridge. I highly recommend you guys get it if you like a little bit of the jank. Um, it really forces you to build a, uh, try and build a strong base even though it can be taken out relatively easy. Um, a lot of lot of shields as you can see in the front I did a lot of shields to protect myself because a little bit of, of structural weakness and your base 
falls into the pit. It's really hard to drop the core. The bases are designed to crumble when you try and dismantle everything. So dropping a core is really, really, really difficult. Can be done, but it's difficult. Uh, yeah, guys, that's going to be a wrap for this video. Once again, four versus four Canyon Bridge by General Tanya. Uh, great, fantastic map, guys. Once again, thanks for watching Synergy Gaming TV. Remember to subscribe. I'm your host, Synergy, and we'll catch you guys on the flip side.